Welcome to another episode of the Blood Knights of the Old Republic of Bloodganistan reviews movies bought against Doug Ford's orders. Today, I am reviewing the DVD version of the Batman The Dark Knight Returns Part 2. So yeah, another, another, ugh. oh, I'm tired, hmm. another, another DVD bought against Chairman Doug Ford's orders. It wasn't ordered, I didn't order this DVD, none of that happened. No, this was a complicit purchase from an essential service, folks. It was a complicit purchase. So, yeah. Where did I buy it? You'll have to find out for yourself. So, yeah. The Dark Knight Returns Part 2. So, yeah, let's get into it, folks. So yeah, we got some of the mutants get defeated, and some of them become the sons of Batman. The Joker wakes up and watches the news and talks to the psychologist and uh, the Joker's sinister. The president uh, calls in Superman. Ronald Reagan is soup sending in Superman. The Nazi attacks a liquor store and Batman in disguise attacks them. And, uh, the Nazi is named Bruno, and, uh, Bruno is a shirtless, a shirtless chick. Like, the butchest shirtless chick you'd ever see. And she's got swastikas on her, on her, uh, breasts. She's got swastikas that are taped onto her breasts. Yeah, uh, and yeah, the, the bitch is, uh, uh, was Frank Miller warning us about, uh, feminazis? I have, I have to wonder, folks, I have to wonder. And, uh, Superman saves a guy, Superman shows up and still lets Batman do his thing. Reagan takes questions from the press. The new commissioner becomes the commissioner and uh, issues Batman a, a warrant for his arrest. We got an eagle that lands on Clark's arm. And it talks to Bruce and they talk to Br they talk to each other. Superman flies away to stop the Soviets. The Joker gets ready. Alfred picks up the new Robin. Batman shows up and jumps out of a cloaked chopper. Beats some cops' asses up. The Joker takes talks to the late night show guy who's voiced, voiced by Conan. And we got this quote. So many faces, so few smiles. <laughs> yep. Cops get uh, each other in the crossfire. The Joker is going to kill everyone in the place and uh, kills them. And we got this quote, breathe, David. The cops shoot at Batman and are terrible shots as the chopper gets to the rooftop. Superman sinks some Soviet ships, I wrote down in my notebook, America. Yep, the Joker goes to see Selina Kyle, the hooker kisses the congressman, and uh, he wants a nuclear strike, and he uh, he's dragged and falls to his death naked. Batman goes in disguise as a horror. And uh, finds out about Selina. Batman goes to the fair with Robin to fight the Joker. B 
Batman throws batarangs at the Joker. And uh, with one that hits the Joker's eye. <laughs> So, yeah, they go into the House of Mirrors, and the Joker runs out of ammo as he shoots some people. The Joker gets a new gun, and they go to the Tunnel of Love. Batman breaks the Joker, partially breaks the Joker's neck, then the Joker breaks his own neck. And uh, Batman got stabbed and must confront the cops. The cops still can't hit Batman. As he uh, called in the cup, the chopper, Batman gets picked up and uh, he returns to see Alfred. The state is hunting Batman after he kills the Joker. Reagan is uh, uh, hiding in a radiation suit. Superman to stop a nuke, but it uh, detonates in space, causing an EMP. Superman gets uh, nuked and withered, and the life around him drains. Bruce figures out it's an EMP. Batman goes to see the Sons of Batman. And yeah, tonight we are the law. Tonight I am the law. <laughs> Coming out of Robo... <laughs> you know, that's... Oh, it sounds better. It sounds better in fucking Robocop's voice. <laughs> Yeah, they got the fuck, got fucking uh, Peter Sellers, I think his name is. Yeah, they got that. They got the fuck, got uh, RoboCop to do the, to do this, and yeah. The Joker. Where did I stop? But man gets picked up, and he returns to see Alfred. Oh, I wrote, I read, read that. Uh, da, da, da. And the uh, looters be looting, looting, and the mutants get free. We got no discrimination law enforcement. Gordon becomes the new fire chief. Batman lays down the law. <laughs> the police will. The, the police will be doing nothing. Fire spreads to the east side, and Gordon's wife is alive. Superman goes to see Regan. Oliver goes to see Bruce. Superman asks Bruce where. <laughs> Superman and Bruce go. Go uh, at it in Crime Alley, and I think Batman swallowed a one-hour man drug or something. Alfred arms the destruct sequence. Batman hits soup with sound and electricity. Yeah, I also wrote down, yeah, I think Batman also took an hour man drug. The Bat Tank writes itself and Robin escapes. They go toe-to-toe, -to -toe and Superman be weak, and, uh, Superman says, yeah, that's three ribs, Bruce. <sighs> Brutal. And then, uh, yeah, Superman gets hit with some kryptonite gas arrow, and, yeah, we have this quote. But I didn't have to go easy on you. A different binding agent, a stronger mix. I want you to remember that. I wanted to remind you to stay out of my way. In all the years to come, in your most private moments, I want you to remember the one man who beat you. <laughs> yes! Oh man, that was awesome. Just reading that was just fucking excited me. It was fucking awesome. Oh, just writing, just reading that, so fucking awesome. And yeah, brute Batman gets a heart attack. Wayne Manor burns, and Alfred died of a stroke. Clark feels bad, and uh, Bruce faked his death. Batman to teach the sons of Batman 
how to be Batman. They set up in the caves under Gotham, and I wrote down, yeah, why isn't both parts one whole live-action movie? Yeah. I could have just straight up adapted this live-action. Yeah, one movie. And it would they would make all their money. You, you don't need to know a lot. You just need to know the specifics. And yeah. So, yeah. I like this. Some good stuff. It's a shame I could not find this on Blu-ray. Uh, probably would have had some uh, bonus episodes from the vaults. I would have liked that. But yeah, man. Because of Doug Ford... Because of Doug Ford, Chairman Ford, I can't buy DVDs at Essential Services. Yeah, you know, I would think you would think that Walmart would have the balls, would be able to put their fucking balls on the table. You would think that Walmart would be would have the balls, the big enough stones to just put their balls on the table and say to Doug Ford, you know, we're not, we're going to, we're, we're, we're going to still be selling stuff. Except, we're, we're going to still be selling the essentials and we're going to still be essentially the, selling the non-essentials. I would think that Walmart would have the balls to do that. The stones, the gonads, the cojones. Or, or better yet, just, uh... Or better yet, just uh, tell everyone, okay, we're we're laying people off. Let's let's see how people enjoy buying uh, shit that's been marked up from everywhere and everyone else. Uh, you'd think you'd have the stones. You'd think they. You think of all businesses out there, they'd have the stones. They're big enough. They're big enough to tell the government, the, the Chairman Doug Ford, to tell them to fuck off. Because our small businesses, none of them are telling the government to fuck off. Not not all of them. They're not telling the government to fuck off. I'm, I'm just, I'm fucking, I don't want to be ranting about this in my goddamn fucking Batman video reviews, but God damn it. This shit pisses me off. This shit fucking pisses me off. Oh, I'm... This is not the place to fucking do this, but I'm... Oh. Go... Yeah. At the time of this recording, I'm... I'm... Oh, fucking angry. Just fucking angry. At this bullshit. So yeah. Let's. Dark Knight Returns part. Part 2 is fucking awesome. I enjoyed watching it. I enjoyed buying it. I got not much else to say. So yeah. I'm the Blood Knight of the Old Republic of Bl Blood Ganistan. Like, share, and subscribe. Stay frosty. Stay sexy, San Diego. Get your jewels in one when you can. I am a spaceman. Invest in GameStop. Support Gina. Peace out, folks. Peace out.